Hey guys, Grumpy Tanker here. As you may or may not know, I ran a little uh, replay contest on Reddit lately, asking people to show me their uh, best platoon re synergy replay. Uh, basically, I just wanted to see a platoon kicking butt in a battle, and this is the winning submission submitted by Timote Desu, uh, driving his Type 59, and also in his platoon are Woozy, dr uh, Reddit EU, also driving his Type 59, and Tramado Gaming driving a GW Panther. Really vicious combination of tanks there. Two high DPM mobile tanks with pretty decent armor and a hard hitting accurate arty to support them. They got a really nice matchmaker in this battle. Uh, five tier eights on each side and then the rest are sevens and sixes. This really means that two type 59s aren't going to come across any tanks that are going to give them too much trouble in terms of armor and damage output since everybody's tier 8's and they're gonna get to beat up on a lot of lower tier tanks 7's and 6's so let's go to the battle and see what's going on so we're looking from the perspective of Woozy here and Woozy and Timote are going to head towards the hill and they're gonna go make for the nipple um, that's the area around Echo 3-4 and Foxtrot 3-4 right in the middle of the map. It's a really key position for mediums and light tanks to go for in this in this map. It offers a lot of map control. They have firing lines everywhere from there, besides the 9 line, obviously. But it really allows them to flex around, use their speed, their mobility, to affect the battle disproportionately. So as you can see, they're going to beeline right for the backside of the hill. And they're going to make some really nice on-the-move shots against enemy tanks going for the hill here. Here he zooms in. Bam! One of them tracks that uh, 2801. It's probably woozy. But, you know, that really shuts down the enemy advance towards the nipple. As you can see, the enemy team doesn't have all that many mediums or speedy tanks. They're not going to be able to get to that nipple in time. And so, our team is going to be able to control that. They just wrecked that 2801 and the T-3045, and now they've taken position to where they can snipe enemy tanks as they're moving towards the 9 line. They can already see that the IS-3, FCM, and a T-29 are advancing on the 9 line, so that's a pretty dangerous combo of DPM, armor, and uh, alpha strike. So they're going to have to watch out for that. Our team's tanks on the 9 line might have some trouble. Looks like the enemy IS-6 decided to stop and try and take a few shots at these 59s who are being all cheeky and whatnot. We just them. And these 59s are having a lot of trouble penning that IS-6 armor. It is pretty trolly, especially when you've got an angle and it's side scraping like that. But Woozy says, screw it, switching to gold. We're gonna we're gonna put some shots in this guy and make him regret his decision. And he certainly does. He's backing up, trying to get out of here. But they're not going to let him do it. He's aiming for his tracks. And bam. Tramato Gaming. And that's just beautiful focus fire. I mean, two tanks focusing as well as the Artie coming in. You got to watch out for that. If you're in a battle and you see two platoon guys shooting at you, and they got an Artie platoon with them, you better be already safe. Or they are going to uh, give you a little present that falls from the sky. You might not like it. So now they know that this IS is the only thing standing between them and flanking that 9-line force. And they're just going to brutalize him. He can't do anything about it. Two Type 59s. That DPM. He's, he's got nothing. So now they're just going to say, okay, there's nothing else over here. We know because we were watching. Let's go knock out two more of their Tier 8 tanks up here on the 9-line. And we're going to get to go in right behind him. Give him a little bit of surprise butt sex. Unfortunately, their team's tanks have just evaporated. If you see around here, it's actually something like 5v3 and they still got dominated. But either way, Team Mate and uh, Wuzi get into close combat. And this is where good players and bad players get to finish close combat. You can see that Timote and Woozy are are really good. They're using the enemy's own tanks against them. They were hiding behind that FCM so that the uh, 
a T29 nice so he couldn't make good shots. And now they're just gonna force the engagement. Prevent the IS-3 from being able to shoot well and focus on that T-29. T-29 is just gonna evaporate under tier 8 fire. With that tier 7 comet helping, of course the uh the IS-3 here makes a rather poor choice of focusing on the comet instead of focusing on the two tier 8 tanks which might help his tank out, or his team out more down the road. The Looks like their artillery managed to get in and help, but uh, a little too little, a little too late. That IS-3 just burns up. All right, now Timotei and Woozy are looking around and saying, oh, look at that. The enemy just pushed through the 1-2 line. They've got a T-28 prototype and two T-150s, as well as a KV-1S up on the uh, donut here, donut nipple interchangeable terms. It's a little bit bad. They just lost what I believe was an AFK Churchill 7 that was guarding the base, but also giving them lights. And Woozy decides to go and just completely own this KB-1S here, which was the right choice because having this KB-1S shooting them in the side while they were trying to snipe down would have been bad. Now pushing the 1-2 side uh, one two valley from either side is dangerous because the enemy team can just get up on the ridges along, in this case, the Delta and the five lines, and it just becomes a shooting gallery for them. So, Woozy's gonna go ahead and clear out this 1S, and then he's gonna get into firing position to start taking out these 150s. Timotei just knocked out that T28 prototype. But unfortunately, one of these 150s is going to get Shimato Gaming. Too bad, too sad. Unfortunately. But uh, Woozy and Timotei are going to get revenge here. We're immobilized. Got him. There we go. A nice little blind shot. Get going. And the platoon is up to 10 kills at this point. Really great job. So Woozy's going to go ahead and clear out the 1-2. He saw that T-28 sneaking up behind him. And Timotei is going to go down the 5 line and try and clear out the enemy artillery. Yeah, Woozy's light bulb just went off, so he is spotted. He's going to try and sneak up behind this T-28. Now, personally, I might have actually had you know the platoon get together and work on the same target rather than splitting up in this case. You can see that Timotei just warned that he is almost out of ammo. That becomes quite an issue towards the end of the match here. The easy 2 the Jumbo Driver, he's not the best in the world. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. But uh, he does become useful here in a minute as Woozy tries to dance with this T-28 prototype. Timotei is over at the enemy base, and he is just about to kill that arty that he spotted. Bam, there you go. Uzi's going to have to eat a shot from this T-28. There's really no choice coming up a hill like that. He's just lucky he didn't get down. Oh, he managed to wiggle his way to having the T-28 shoot one into his tracks. And the easy 2 is just going to sit there stupidly and fling shots. Which is, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually a friendly tank there, buddy. Green outline. You're not supposed to be. Now, Woozy is just trying to find a flat surface where his arm penetration uh, indicator is going to turn green and he can head through, but this T-28's not making it easy for him. We just need him. Fortunately or unfortunately, the uh, easy 2 is over there flinging his HE shells out of that 105 howitzer. And amazingly, he's actually hitting that cupola. It's kind of hard to see right now. There it is. That little red penetration mark. Look at that. Easy to just hit the cupola again. 300 damage. He's, uh... He's actually not being useless. Although he will shoot Lucy again by accident just because he's bad. 
is done. Our main gun is damaged. It's working, but so not very well. He's a little bit stuck, but he's gonna work his way out of here. He is down to his very last round, which is uh, rather awkward because Timotei is in a rather worse position. He is dancing with the SU-152 over there, and he is straight up out of ammo. Never a good thing. Type 59s carry a surprisingly small ammunition load for their for their rate of fire, and it's not uncommon to run into this situation where you are out of ammo with the Type 59. So Woozy is going to run down there. Now Timotei is dancing with that SU-152, but luckily he's in a nice open field where he's able to scrape the side of that SU and not let him get a shot in. Nothing really to worry about. So Woozy just rolls up. And a little closer. Alright, time for a little surprise butt sex. Wow. We're and of course, there you go. Easy to just shot him in the ass again. On purpose, by accident. Or he's just stupid. But anyways, a really great game from Timotei Woozy and Tramato is not bad, but you know, already you can't carry a game, unfortunately. It's just not possible in that class of vehicle. Uh, 13 kills at the end of the game for the platoon and a whole boatload of damage. So let's go take a look at the after game results. Alright, so let's take a look at Timotei's after action report here. He received an amazing 226,000 credits, something that's only really possible if you're playing a premium vehicle as well as 13,685 experience, uh, which came from a times 5 experience weekend, as well as having premium. He scored his ace tanker badge, as well as a crucial contribution, top gun, and a confederate. You can see that he damaged and killed quite a few tanks, so he damaged at least six in addition to killing six more. So, you know, that's pretty much the whole, whole enemy team uh, ate at least one shot from Timotei here. So very impressive. All right, let's move on to taking a look at Woozy's uh, post-battle results here. He got 160,000 credits as well as 10,770 XP, again with the five times in the premium. He also got the Faden's Medal, which is killing the last enemy tank with the last shot in your ammo rack. So very impressive. Uh, you can see again that he has also six kills. Um, didn't get the top gun though because he did less damage. But you know, we look at all these tanks. I mean, between the two of them, they have brutalized pretty much the entire enemy team. Um, and of course, the crucial contribution along with that. I would like to point out that uh, about the fifth tank down on Woozy's damage list is himself. And that's because he used an HE round to shoot the side of that T-28 he was hugging and did, I believe, it's about two points of damage to himself. And finally, we'll bring it to the team score tab, where we can see that uh, Woozy and Timotei did dominate their game with, uh, with the amount of damage that they did, 62, 93, and 38, 85. Six kills each, and they just, they pretty much carried their team. Um, we can see Tramadoga down there in his GW Panther. He did get only 600 damage, um, but it was pretty clutch blowing up that IS-6. Um, you know, sometimes you just, as an artillery, you just can't can't get the shots in. Um, and he did, unfortunately, get raped by those T-150s that broke through. So that's unfortunate. But, you know, he contributed to the team damage, to the platoon damage. Their final overall score was they did a ratio of 2.74. So compared to the rest of their team, they did 2.74 times more damage than the rest of their team combined. So three tanks did 2.74 times more damage than 12 other tanks. And you can clearly see no one else on their team even broke a thousand damage. Um, and they were able to just completely shut down the enemy team. Uh, again, the enemy team, you know, very, very few high damage scores. Um, and, and quite a few zero damage scores. You can see a lot of the tanks that, you know, the VK-2801, T-3485, the M-18 Hellcat, a lot of the tanks that they shut off, shut down right off the bat. Um, you know, the IS-6, look at that, zero damage. Those were guys that they were able to intercept while they were, the enemy tanks were still trying to get in position. And they were able to shut those guys out of the game. They did zero damage, made zero contribution, and... Um, you know, they, they really had a great position. They had great mobility around the battlefield to affect different fights. And uh, they were really able to carry their team. 
So, great job, guys. Uh, enjoy the $100 worth of prizes you guys can share out amongst yourselves.